Hey everybody, this is Old English Bullies and today we are going to cover tail docking. So there are two really popular ways to dock a tail. First, there's banding or a small rubber band is placed around the puppy's tail and after a couple of days it falls off. And the second method is clipping where the tail is actually clipped off and that's the method that we choose to do. If you want to know details and step-by-step -step directions, go ahead and click the link at the bottom of this video. It'll take you to our blog where you'll be able to see a full description and step-by-step -step process of the steps we use. So to jump right into things, I'm going to show you guys a video that I took at the vet as he showed us how to crop tails. He started by having his assistant hold the puppy by his front and back legs and finding the kink in the tail. So all Old English bullies have a natural kink. If you start at the top of the tail with your index finger and thumb and slide down, you'll be able to feel it. It'll feel hard at the top and then go soft. And that's the exact spot that you want to clamp the tail. Um, you clamp it with these large hemostats, locking them all the way closed, and then getting a scalpel to remove the tail. The puppy will yelp just a little bit, but it just takes a couple of seconds. You'll then take the sutures and for this we like to use a straight hemostat and you'll start on the very right side of the tail going down starting above the hemostat and going underneath and then again on the opposite side so this will actually form an X and once that X is formed you can go ahead and remove the hemostats and pull the suture all the way through you want to leave about an inch at the end so you can tie a knot and as you'll see, he's going to tie six square knots. The easiest way to do this is to start with a long end that's connected to the needle, wrap the hemostats around, and then pull the inch that we left through. Um, make sure that you pull down tight each time. And after you've done six knots, um, opening the hemostats all the way, you'll be able to clip off the excess suture. And that's it, it's pretty simple. The puppy does whine for a couple of seconds, but then it's over, and they're all taken care of. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Make sure that you follow our blog at oldenglishbullies.com forward slash blog. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, guys. We hope you have a great day.